It's not anywhere it's written that let's go. We are given one law to, 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 to chase or to cast them out. Are we together? Okay. So let me give you the last testimony. A wife and her husband left their house that the house is filled with the evil spirits. I, talk, I say that as the ego flies higher, that's where the things could, could see as big becomes very small. It goes and all, it jumps and flies. It soars over big houses until it reaches at a point where it sees that a small dot. So that's the last stage God is preparing for the child. To reach the point of the soaring eagle, whatever which was troubling you, just see it as small and impossible. Those mountains you've been looking around, you're going to look them and they're not big for by the time I'm about to fly here at the airport, by the time the plane is flying, you see all these towers and that. When the airplane is at top, it becomes like small. He said, Lord, I've heard that you've Rescue the people from Israel. Oh. I've, heard, I've heard that you fed them for 40 years in the desert. I heard that the Red Sea got separated. I heard that you've scattered all the enemies. I heard that the lions get, run away from Daniel. I heard that the this week isn't going to leave you the way you were. There is no God who can invite people like this in vain. There is a reason why you are here and you are going to see that in this week. I give you a greeting from my church at home. We have a church at our home and a church, a normal church. So I told all those churches that I'm going to attend at Chinyinya. My wife knows this place. Even the kids know the place. But I left them when they are at home. But she was telling me the place. She, she was telling me that it's a beautiful church. <laughs> My wife likes beautiful things. <laughs> but for me, even if you put me under the tree, I just go. But for her, she watches and everywhere, everything. She says that if those people get a big church, they're going to decorate it. They're going to decorate the church. Yeah. So accept the greetings from them. So, let's read the Bible in the book of Habakkuk that you see there. I normally stay at home Mondays, mm. I don't go to preach. It's rare for me to preach weekend to go In the weekend, I'm <laughs> very tired. <laughs> and on Monday, I stay at home and I go on Tuesday. But because <laughs> you are our friends <laughs> whom we love the most, it made me come here. I've been in restoration for the week. 
na vivante wa mbere kugeza wa kabiri vivante indi minsi yose restoration kugeza I went on vivante Monday and Tuesday so other weeks have been other days of the Yeah na rinu vagandoshe cyane mihogo I was very tired. The voice, I thank God that I don't normally uh, use my voice. So I would not be speaking today. But God, God, God gave me a wonderful voice. So yesterday I was preaching. After preaching, they could take me to the to, 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 to like give me something. They could give me cold things, and I could say no. I could ask, Is this food spicy? Yes, no, I, could I could say, If you're not singing or preaching, just eat, but yeah. not me. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for the microphones which help us not to lose our voices. So those people working on the instruments, please uh -huh. be careful with my uh -huh. microphone. Whenever I go to a certain place, I like fight <laughs> with <laughs> the instrument people. <laughs> they don't <laughs> preach, they just hold your voices. Uh -huh. Habakkuk chapter 3 Habakkuk chapter 3 Harimwe sengesho rya Habakkuk There is a prayer of Habakkuk Haravanga gusenga ku muhanuzi Habakkuk kwaririmbishwa ganijwe rya Shigionoti iyari imwe mu nanga za Daudi yakoreshaga mu gihe cyo kuramya cyangwa se cyo gusenga Murongo wa kabiri avanga uwiteka we Numvise inkuru zawe zintera ubwoba icamba mukazumva zikabatera ubwoba Turahari tuvuge haleluya Are you there Aha Chapter 3 says a prayer of Habakkuk the prophet of Shingilnon O Lord I have heard your speech and I was afraid O Lord revive your work in the midst Witeka we hemburu muri mo wawe hagati yo muri y'imyaka Oh Lord, I have heard your speech and Hagat, I was afraid. Revive your work. Revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known and in wrath remember mercy. Receive the word of God. Aha. When I, I preach to people, I know that these people are revivers, all the notes. Sometimes people are awaiting for the revival moment, but again they go they get distracted <laughs> in that moment. Tell that person that sit upright and let's go in the revival. Tell another to reduce looking at herself, the, her beauty, all his beauty. Just leave that. Stop that and let's enter into the restoration. I could be glad seeing you crying. I could see you shouting. I could be glad seeing you smiling. I could, I could be happy seeing you raising your hands. I could be happy seeing you shouting as a woman who is giving birth. So, being silent and quiet, just talking. This is not a week of just holding yourself. It's a week of shouting and standing loud. You are okay to jump. It's okay to do anything for you to meet the goodness of God. You, you, you search, you seek the things of God. 
People say that all oh, those things yeah, are charcoal. It was only for three hours. So I know going to spend them here. So it was three hours enough for him to fight the angel and to take a step and to, 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 to go away from, from the angel. It was three hours. Three hours were enough for Christ to, to finish the mission on the cross. Three hours were enough for Jesus to say that it's all finished. So is it, is it the first day of the conference? So it's okay, you it, are it starting now. Uh -huh. So let me tell you, you chose a good topic of the restoration, of revival. Let me tell you, when God called me, uh, God encountered me to be the gospel preacher in the 90s. And in 2002, he spoke to me that he's turning me a, a, a disciple of revival in Africa. And that time I accepted to be anointed to be the disciple. From that moment, I couldn't stay in my church. My eyes focused in the church or in the temple of Christ. It's been a month here in in my home, Rwanda, but I haven't stepped in the church. I've been going around this city in different churches. And the second thing, I don't normally go to no. preach in any church. I said, no. God, I preached. I, I did whatever. That's maybe why it, I became like this. Others became very tall. I told God that it's enough. Enough is enough. That I'll be going to the church when you invite me and Tell me that the church is really anointed and restored. That's the only church I'll be going to. But if he doesn't tell me that there is restoration or revival in the church, I won't go there. That's a wastage of time on me. Because what we are running for is to see the church being revived. So if you are seeing me here, there is something a son of Mary said. There is what a son of God said. He said that the star of revival is, is still on this church. Among the churches of restoration and revival of Rwandans, this church is among the What has God said? God has said, and you, Bethlehem, you are not small in Judah's land. The Savior is sleeping in you. And that's the Lion of Judah Christ. Here. He said to me and I to tell you. He told me to tell you that you are not small. The Savior is still here inside and he wants to manifest 
The season of restoration is still in you. Ah, It's still burning and coming out. And God is going to call many people to come to this church. People who are listening to me say hallelujah. Do you want me to tell you another strong word for you to understand me well? Revival is not the news they preach. Revival is not the story to tell. Just tell. Revival is life of the holy people. Who, which they must practice. Revival is different from the go other gospel. Gospel of the revival is No. It's not something that I'm busy learning. You, you listen to it and stand if up. If it requests you to kneel down, down, if it requires you to run, you if run. If it requires you to lie down, you do if it. If it requires you to lie down, you do it. You to leave food, you just if it requires you to throw yourself, you just do it. Revival is automatic. It's something you immediately practice, not just wait. I got saved in the revelation where I could see people feeling the Holy Spirit with my own eyes. And they could speak new tongues. And he could jump from the chair and jump. It could be like this from Adepe, those long they could jump to the roof and they could stay there like 10 minutes speaking in tongues. Afterwards they could come and fall down here and just sit in the chair again. The leaders who were leading us in the time of the revival when I was there, they are still here in Rwanda and abroad. With my own eyes, I saw that. One, one time they fell, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And we were sitting on the mat down. I could hear that. Hallelujah. They could speak in tongues. And you could turn and, turn and, and, could turn and pass through this. Here in the wall, and just go outside. After reaching outside, he could wonder where he passed. So he could just rotate the house and ask, Please open for me. I remember the time when someone ran out and the rain was falling, and he cried, Oh, the rain is falling. We asked, How did you go? So he passed here and went. That's the person I'm talking about. He's still there. And we are together with him. Amazing things happen. And I, we, we are the witness. I could, we could go to pray in the forest. And the moment people were being praying in the midnight singing, we could sing songs of the, of the kingdom. We could be held with the Holy Spirit and jump. jump on the top on the roof of the top of the tree. Just sit there. <laughs> After reaching on the top of the tree, 
the spirit, the spirit went away and the, he came back into fresh. And it was in the darkness. I started. <laughs> Started calling. Oh, I don't know where he went. Please come and save me because I can't get a way to come back there. We are the you reach on the. He said, I don't know where I am. I'm in between trees, but I don't know even the tree which I was. What happened? You sang that song and you were on the third. You were on the third phase and I felt like the head of I felt power and I didn't see you. I didn't see you. So I went like that. So I, I, knowing that you, you, you stay there on the earth and was like in heaven. So we asked, what are we going to do? Come and Surround this tree. And continue from where you stopped in that song. After singing that song, we're going to be filled again with the Holy Spirit. So if, if you go up in the Holy Spirit, I will go. I will know how I'm going to fall down. So we continue singing. After reaching on the other world, we started. Speaking in tongues. We spoke in new tongues. He was attacked again with. He started new tongues again. He spoke like twice. For the third time, he flied again and fell in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, revival. Revival is the power which swallows every power. Revival is killing humanity. And you remain with God. The good, the Godness starts ruling uh, you. Your thoughts. The fresh thoughts are being swallowed with the thoughts of God. When that happens, you start becoming God in God's. <laughs> Revival is come, it, revival is defined no. by coming of, of God Nima in people. It's God coming to come and live with people and stays in them. You go feeling God. You sleep feeling God. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I prayed God to have mercy, his mercy. For me to sustain me so that I can, I want to die when I've seen the, re, the, the revival in, among people. Something which made me to be here. The reason why, why I live here around. No, no, it's one. God refused me to go in any yeah, other country. He forbid me. I was going Burundi. to go in America with my whole family. We were from Burundi. Everything was perfect. Even the transport, the ticket, the Americans had provided money. So I asked my wife, let me first go to pray. And so I went in prayers in Arusha. So I took a flight from Kanombe to Arusha to pray for two weeks. While I was sleeping at night, in the after first, the first week of praying, I had a man who came to stand before me. He told me, if you go in America, you will be going for, by your own. But by my will, 
I want you here in Africa. Atimamvu. And this is the reason. Restoration is going, the restoration of the earth is kept here in Africa. And especially here in Rwanda. It's, it's going to be hot. Rwanda is going to be, have the glory of God. And it's going to connect that to Burundi. And it's going to Uganda and Kenya. Connect that to Uganda and Kenya. All this Africa, Africa. Other nine regions of Africa will see after those people are going to share to the whole nations. The whites have supported us in different material things. But God said that we are going to, we are going to support and give them the spiritual things which we have. The God said that we are going to approach them when they will not be having God in them and they will not be having discipline anymore. But all that thing will be changed by a revival. Tell someone that you are causing traffic, traffic jams. Randans who are bringing traffic jams. So you are delaying on the way that's meaning that other people are behind you. Let's go in another speed. For us to move so that we can give away to other people. Who came to witness that? And that person said it clearly and I was confused. It was a servant of God who came from Singapore. He was an old man. They were praying for revival there in, a, in their country, Singapore. They closed themselves and they said, Revival must happen. Do you know why they meant? They could say, God, you gave, you gave development. You gave prosperity for our country. Our country is very good now. But allow us. Allow other countries to come and learn. So that they can even learn the restoration, the revival. God said to them that no. The revival is going to Rwanda. The revival of the world is going to start in Africa and in the country called Rwanda. God, God, said to him, God told him that during this 2019 and 2018, you have to be in Rwanda. Just pray the gospel so that they can stand the church of Rwanda. Christ in Rwanda received revival. And just go to sleep in Africa in Rwanda for three months praying for that. And the second thing, just go and to every preacher he and He reached in Rwanda and searched the servants of God and he met Kabanda. So after telling the news to him. He said, oh, this is amazing. Let, let me call other servants of God. Yes, we are in the altar of revival. Having different servants of God, more than 100 churches. Where there is the altar of revival, that's where we're going to spread the news. So let me go to see the leaders of He came approaching us. Kabanda with a missionary came and approached me and told me we spent like four hours the old man could talk he could first cry 
And you could get tired and later I could even assist him. I told Kawanda how are we going to get from him from this man? What are we going to do with him? Are we going to cry as he's crying? Are you listening to me or you are not listening? We said yes we are, we are hearing it even twice. So he told them to look for other servants no, of God. We went to Nobreza mm -hmm. Hotel. Called upon other ministers of God. Went to Hilltop. So this man told us, revealed no, everything. I said, oh God, what are we going to do? Oh God, you've started using even the white people where the rich is to come to Africa to tell us this news about Rwanda. By that time, from that time, I got scared and afraid. I said, God, I honor you. Ask someone that are you listening to this? Have you heard this? Do you, know, do you know that that person God was talking about is you? God was talking about you. You have to wake up and let other nations be awakened by you. The reason this church, the reason I'm standing in this church, is among the churches which God wants to revive. It's not about the iron sheets, it's about you. Start making yourself warm. Ah. In short, I don't see other people in my field. Sometimes they even stress me. Sometimes when I see people in the field, in the game, Warming themselves. Do you know what they're doing? They say, if you slide, <laughs> if you strip, <laughs> we are going to <laughs> leave her aside. <laughs> if we make, make a mistake <laughs> again, <laughs> we are going to we're waiting. <laughs> <entering>. <laughs> so when are those people leaving <laughs> us? <laughs> That's the life of revival. <laughs> they're always crying, <laughs> waiting to enter into the field. <laughs> The revivers passed into this path. But the stage we are on, we are the ones who are on top for us to enter into that field. Those people in the churches, if they tell you to pray at the conferences of revival, this is for future churches. It has, been, it has remained with future churches. That revival, what are you Saying. So this is God who came and breathed, who breathed through his people. Let me tell you how I see the churches of Israel. The church. The church, the temple is like a lion. It's a lion in coma. The lion sleeping. You see the lions on the TV, they inject. After, after injecting the lion in sleep, it's ah, like for ah, And the people coming to touch it. When they see it's they are down, they come and touch on it. Even though they come and touch, come they come It's not compared to other animals. Whenever you come to approach the lion, it's not the same way you go to approach the monkeys. The lion, they come when the eyes are wide open. They're widely open saying that this, this, this doesn't pray. Even though it's, 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 it's not dead. 
You know that after some few minutes It is going to regain its lion power It's going to be that lion They go very careful so that they cannot even awake it or it may not listen to them. So if you are mistaken, if you are mistaken and the lion gets awake when you are still around it, it can show you the powers that it's a lion to realize. So the church is a lion being Making. Churches of today are still in coma. Are the good news of bringing no you. It's not dead. Irabona. The church is saying. Waiting for the time to awake. When the time is right. This lion is going to awake. And if it is waking. It's not going to sleep. Before having. This this I've never seen this anywhere in the world. When a, where a lion has given birth to a goat, I've never seen or heard in the history where a lion has given birth or has produced a goat, even a even a baby of a lion is a lion. The Bible says those who those who believed in him were given the authority they were given power to become uh -huh. If Christ is my father, if Jesus is a lion, you are lion sitting here. You are lion sitting here waiting to wake up. When you know yourself, the world will know who you are. The power of waking up are brought by two things. In the, in the spiritual world, two things. Other things follow. The first is knowing whom you trusted without without having without confused, being confused, you know the the second, knowing yourself. Telling you the truth, even though, even though you can spend like a thousand days you can't be transformed further than whom you are, what you know of yourself. Knowing yourself. Makes a person a very powerful that person. Let me give you a testimony. I spent many years. As an intercessor praying like 40 days dry. And in those 21 days, we couldn't ask God to give us food, shelter. All those years, we could not even know that people pray for that. I realized that people pray for that when I'm Kigali, I mean, was in Kigali. Because we could not buy the charcoal. No one could buy milk. No one could go shopping for food. We could shop for clothes maybe once in a year. And you could say that's enough. So we could like yes. pray, pray as the well. We could pray asking God for his power. Asking God the, the, powers, the spirit of 
Holy Spirit. We could pray for that and God could give us the spirits, the powers. So God could give us those spirits even no, the the unnecessary powers. powers. Imagine the power to pass through, through the roof and go, what, what are you going to do in the roof? That's the power to Imagine the power to and pass the and they could not see even the way, the way, the way you passed in. So what was the use of those powers? We could pray for the sick and we could get time away. Could not find any sick person. We could find no sick person. So I could ask people, oh, no one's sick today. Let's go to pray for cows. So we could go in the mountains of the field of cows of our fathers. They could say maybe this. The cow is having this problem. Maybe a calf is going to die. So I could tell people I'm going to make it stand in Jesus' name. So I could stand in the mountain and say a call to God. God, you're going to make me awake that cow. The, the, the owner of the cow are uh, sad. Make them happy this evening. So God could tell me, go when you're two. One is going to hold her. One is going to hold their horn and, and, and another one is going to hold the hallelujah and give three hallelujahs. Afterwards, Thank God it will be standing. There is a time in the world where for a cow when the Congolese, the Congolese had come to slaughter it for the new holidays. But the owner of a cow had told that one of the he said, I'm sad that my cow is dying. It has produced more than 180. So this cow, these other cows I have are from that one cow. So he was sad for that. And I said, let's go and make it alive. So I didn't meet, today we didn't meet sick people, so let's go and pray for the cow. A one called the horn, and we gave out we started praying and thanking God for the standing of the cow. So after leaving the, the, the horns of the cow, it started fighting to stand and to it has spent one month long. So we brought a basin full of water. It drank the whole basin. We told the shepherd, bring all the grass. And it ate. And it also shouted three times. So I told them that even a cow is giving three alleluias. Well. So we prayed, we gave those three alleluias. It got healed and it gave three alleluias. It ran away in the mountains to look for other cows. So the Congolese looked at me in the way. They said you are, you are, you've made, you 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 called us to meet to miss this meat of Christmas or banana. They were, they were furious, furious on me. So you, do you know how, do you get how the power of God was at that time? By this time, we don't see the people who are praying those prayers. But I could not know who I am in Jesus Christ. Nothing happened. So the person started in the morning saying, oh, you need an operation in this place. And they said, maybe you pray. So I told them, no, it's by the, it's the spiritual thinking. No, we are generous in the army of of the there, is, and there is no anywhere it's written that let's pray we are given one law to, 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 
chase or to cast them out. Are we together? Okay. So let me give you the last testimony. A wife and a husband left their house that the house is filled with the evil spirits. I, talk, I say, the, say hallelujah. Knowing yourself only. So you can ask yourself what kind of sin? This a small revelation can become a very flat gate of your blessing. Knowing yourself can change your history. I went in the wilderness searching for the blessing of God. I couldn't find that, but by the time I realized myself, was, for one week everything changed. They were amazed to see me living in a house having floors, different floors, from two rooms to a like, so people started saying, oh, now our pastor is going to shame us. How can he live in this big house? He's going to live to rent a house of 300, 300. From 80K to 300K. Now I live in the house of 300,000 people. I lived in that house, in that mansion. From I could bring beggars and street kids in that house that's, and I left it for them. So by that time people started commenting on the platform saying that the rich, rich ministers in the in the city, I could see my, my, my name on the list near Ed Mokivu and other rich priests. And I could say, Romans have done it. Tell someone that if you know yourself, everything will change. We are together, say amen. Revival means waking up in your mind and your thoughts. How can we have the God we say who is powerful uh, but his powers uh, that doesn't so, show him Sometimes I see Christians of the and I feel sad. I wonder what we need for us to transform and be the people Christ says. That's why I love this prophet. I like this prophet who said, oh Lord, I've heard you speech. I've heard your speech and I was like, what? What story is what story? He sat down and realized ah, we and looked at what God has done. He said, God, I've heard that you've rescued your people from Israel. Oh. I've heard, I've heard that you fed them for 40 years in the desert. I heard that the Red Sea got separated. I heard that you've scattered all the enemies. I heard that the lions get, run away from Daniel. I heard that the consuming fire was afraid to reach other people. I heard that they, they, they could bring back the dead kids to the woman, to the woman. And your history made me afraid. 
After writing and declaring the And he said, And again, what's required for you to revive what's re What is it required for you to, to rise the church? To arise the church. And this man also, Isaiah said, Isaiah maybe in 40 or 39, he said, he said that those who wait are going to be strengthened, new strength. They're going to walk and not be weary. They will run and not faint. And he said this thing. going to soar on the wings like eagles. Do you know the phase, the stage the church is on today? There are four phases. The first phase say, was said by Paul that those who were sleeping are and the Bible says those who awake and who wake up not falling a proper way. And another face says that those who are walking just run. Just run. Paul says that we are running, we are on our marks running. And Jeremiah says that. Jeremiah said, even if you run and the people running on feet are about you, you, when you reach to you. the ones having horses, what shall you do? If the people walking by foot are, are far from you, so our, the church is going to walk with people having horses. The ones who are delaying on the foot were going ah, to step behind. God is not going to tolerate your weakness. We are going to another stage of horses. The miracle is reaching on the phase five. Isaiah said even the time of the process is The ones who are waiting to go. I see them mounting up. The They're going to fly to soar the wings. So you eagles, what are you lacking for you to fly to mount up? The church in the revival season are on the stage of the, the, the eagles. <laughs> the time Job was about to win, to become victor, he was... On the of, of the horse. It's written in John. He, he reached at a point where he was troubled and he went and climbed the horse. So by the time he could sit on the horse, he could call upon the tribulations. He could say, Come and we meet very soon so that I can. Pass over we you. are coming to, 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 to you are coming to leave me a testimony for me to approach God. The host of God was to help him to pass over the tribulation. The, the, the host could, could turn. It just it jumps. It doesn't fight so the faith we have Wizera doesn't fight. It doesn't fight with people, it jumps. Wherever you send your faith is where it stops. The, the faith doesn't stay in swamps. It doesn't get scared of the sea. Your hope can maybe be destroyed. And sometimes they can even see. You remain with the voice saying that even though it's like that, I'm going to get out of this step. So don't joke with this faith. It just 
jumps over the seas. He jumps over the seas and reaches the waters. He doesn't fight with the He jumps over the waters. That's the that's the stage where Job no, was. No, no, Isaiah when God said, "Yuma." So Isaiah came later. Arabu angawa tinze mugu tegerezu iteka. And say those who have waited in the hall. Have gari farasi. The not even the horses. Vagie gutumba gira muvire renki visiga. They're going to mount up like eagles. Urwa norbu gisiga rofu giki. Do you know the level of the eagle? The meaning of that. Na wa Kristu wageze kuri level. Is the Christians who are the level. Umbu gisiga kizamu kachane. As the eagle. Flies higher. That's where the things could you could see as big becomes very small. It goes and all it jumps and flies. It soars over big houses until it reaches at a point where it sees at a small dot. So that's the last stage God is preparing for the church. To reach the point of the soaring eagle, whatever which was troubling you, just see it as small and impossible to see. Those mountains you've been rooting around, you're going to look them and they're not big for by the time I'm about to fly here at the airport, by the time the plane is flying, you see all these towers and that. When the airplane is at top, it becomes like small. You just see Rwanda as a valley place. So the level of ego is the people who are above, who have this revival and they are not there. Ah, All those things became valley in front of them. If God took Zerubbabel that time, he said Zerubbabel. It's not by your power. But it's by my spirit. And tell the mountain that you big mountain. How do you call yourselves in front of Zerubbabel? You're going to turn into valleys while you're mountains. He's not going to see you as a mountain. You're going to be seen as a valley in front of him. The time of mountain is all by the name of Jesus. It's time for you to mount up. Mount up to the level where we see them as a valley. That's the level of revival the Bible talks about. This is why this man was praying for to revive his work. When the revival is coming, those people who were those ones who were being suffering, they, they break those chains and the next morning the enemy say them, see them. Let me prophesy. The church is going to the step. When the time the world is being. This world is going to know that the strong and powerful people in that in this in this world. The, time, the world is going to see that there are some strong people who are willingly to do those hard things. God, let me say this before I wind up. I swear on my God, I work for. All the signs showing that Jesus is going to come are almost finished. We are remaining with only one sign. There is a level Jesus said he's going to take the charge. He said, I'm going to send you powers. Muzava abagabo. And after saying after, after powering these spirits to you, you're going to be the witnesses. 
You're going to have these powers up to the level where you're going to be doing some things and people would wonder if it's Jesus. And he said, you see the level I'm at? Let me say this too. Uh -huh. <laughs> The world is full of three technologies. There is technology of, there is this technology of wise and intellectual people using their knowledge. Imagine if the, 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 the airplanes are, are, are gunning, shooting without anyone inside them. They are sending missiles and to a place. They have these things controlling the whole world. There is this American person who made me laugh. Uh, I don't know how I say, but it's something they make which flies in the air, in the space. Yes, spaceship. Okay. So this, the, there's this American person who went in the spaceship. He say that I've wondered there is no this God, but the brethren, the sibling of him said, you were saying that there is no God, but one time we're going to meet him. So one time he flied in the spaceman ship Oxygen is so he lacked oxygen. He went out of the oxygen. He tried everything possible. He called. He called that, please help me. So he wondered, he said that I'm remaining with only three minutes to die. Shize. After one minute, and a second minute, he remembered what the sibling told him. And he kneeled down in this. And he said, he cried, saying, God of the earth and heaven, the God I had for my brother, if you really exist, Please save me this intellectual thing of mine. Oh, the third minute was to die. Oxygen and the oxygen came again without touching anywhere. After the oxygen was coming, he knelt down and said, God, I accept, I accept that you really live. You will, uh, so he came. He told the brother, please come immediately. I need to meet you. He said, why? Please let's meet immediately. It's urgent. So after meeting, he said, I was dead. I was totally dead. But your God. I met your God in this spaceship. And he said, from today. That's my God as well. Please help me to connect me with Jesus. So he prayed, prayed for him. So he reached to Burundi and he was the witness of that. He came in Africa even in Burundi. Tell someone that God is there. He's there. The second technology. The technology is for is for interactions. It's nice. We have the electricity. We have the internet. We're we'll 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 going flies. That's the knowledge of the world. If Adam could not sin, we could not even use the, the, the planes. You could even sit on this major But because of the sin of Adam, we could not even use the planes. We lost a big atmosphere of wisdom. 
but the time Jesus came he started bringing back the second technology is this satanic atmosphere in the world there's some people who are, who are made to be who are in America but again in Africa there are demonic powers the satanic powers the person is in America but sleeps with the other people in Africa he says that I'm, I'm sleeping with an old man an old woman from anywhere there and my neck is not working so I say hold your cell phone I'm going to pray for you so whenever we start praying for that person starts throwing out he starts vomiting throwing out the things that person and others start losing their mind also. So after coming back to the sense and pick up the phone. And sometimes we hear the voice of the demons. The demons, the demons, from, Africa. The demons from Africa when the person is sitting in the U.S. We saw that in Tanzania, Tanzania people went in a meeting but there came a meeting. There came, there came, there came with doctors with crabs sitting on the scene. I saw that on TV. They fly and technology. They have also their technology. Were, those people were going in a meeting in Arusha. When they are flying ah. as well. So those people, they like, they misinterpreted the way. So they went and flied over the church. And there were intercessors in the church who had spent the night praying. So when they passed over the roof of the church, their, their satanic technology lost control. control. They felt like a socket electricity. So they fell on the road near the church. It was early in the morning. So people came, they shouted, the police came. I just saw the police standing around those people. People wanted to throw stones people. So they were naked. And they technology how can the technology of the yeah. can, how, how, how can we accept this technology to go, to go beyond to go more to, to grow more than we who technology pray? the third technology is the spiritual technology these ones who are in revival season, those command things that's how we work. We pray for a person in Kigali. And throws out when you are sitting here in Kigali. So Jesus started this third technology. He found, he found them treating eyes in, in the Laodicea. So Jesus said, Oh, you are. You are you are, you are joking you are that. No he went so he found there was a sick person without having any. So Jesus came and said, if this one is, this, if this is possible for you, we this. He had a son and split him. He split the survivor on the son and 
And he said, go and wash your face. He cleaned his face. And he having the eyebrows and the eyes were inside. So they say, they say, this man is bringing a new technology. So he, the next day he went to the boat so that they could, can cross over to the ministry. He, 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 he reached the bus the station. He found that there is no one going, so it was time there. They asked, when shall this boat start going? Because the passengers are not there, but waiting for people who will come maybe at 3 we were sitting there. We said, oh, are we going to wait until those people fill the boat? Jesus said, okay, you'll find me there. I'm going to find me there. So he just he took the step to the sea. All people were wandering and seeing. They said, he has no boat. The passengers are here. The owners of the boat are here. They see a sign of God. The son of God stepped forward to the water. He started walking. All people wondering, looking under his shoes. So why doesn't he sink? They could sink. They could looking around. They could look around. They could ask, what's happening there? They saw him walking. They saw him walking. So even the water couldn't go to the sandals. And they see, he would Jesus was walking over the sea. So the ones who walked early in the boat, they met him. They said, oh my God, we're dying. What happened? How is this person walking over the water? But they said, oh, it's Jesus from Nazareth. Nazareth. So by the time of the, it was the time of the, of the, of the night. Remember when he met Peter in the sea. So they saw him walking like this. So he realized that they're inside. So he said, oh, Peter is also there. Let me find them. <laughs> so they could say, oh, it's a demon. Let's run away from the demon. <laughs> they say, it's me, Peter. You just stand up. But Peter said, if you are Jesus, tell me, <laughs> command me to come. Jesus said, you just come. It's okay. So Peter stood out of the boat, started walking on the top of the waters. And then Jesus said, Whatever you saw me doing, you will do them. Ask someone, ask someone that, when are you going to walk on top of Lake Kivu? Victoria, are you going on the top? Where are we going to walk on the top of Victoria? <laughs> The time is now and it's coming. Where are the, the, the one who believes are going to be living in the middle? The world is still amazing. amazing. The time, it's going to be amazing. Like the way they wondered about Jesus. That's the way they're going to be wondering. The Israelites came away from Israel. So that's the way the righteous people are going to be living in this world. God said, You're not going to come out from Egypt when they don't know me. They're going to first know you in the power. They shall know you in the goodness. They're going to know you in the wealth and prosperity. You I will get out of it. When they have known when they have known that in their place, the rain is coming over 
You are going to get out of the world. There is no in their place, but there is no snow. No, 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 you are going to get out of Egypt knowing that they are going to lose their firstborns not in you. All those things happen to them and that's the revival. The time God revived the Hebrews, the whole Egypt was a man. And whatever happened to Israel was the prophecy which will happen in the temple of God. God gave them Moses, but we are giving Jesus. God gave them a stick, a stick but we are giving the spirit. God gave them the Easter of the sheep, but for us we are given a, a, a Easter of the Son of God. So what are we missing? What are we lacking to go in those powers? Is to know that we are a holy temple. We are the whole the tribe which is not being played we around. We have to know that we are the promise keepers. We have to know that we are the promises. Every Sunday you are going to have more. Just sit and know that I know I'm going to have more. Just wait for another year holding the new world. Knowing that this year I'm going to be favored more than other years. Just stand up and we pray.